All right, what's up guys, it's Mitch Orditi, and today I'm just gonna be going over my new account after 10 days. I wanted to kind of show what is possible. So if you're getting into Epic 7, I'm going to be making a 10 day guide just as to what to do each day. And obviously if you don't play a ton, you're not gonna be able to follow the guide day by day, but you can just stretch out what I'm doing over multiple days. So the whole point of this was to try to get to masters RTA in 30 days. That's a challenge that I'm trying to do because I wanna see if it's possible so overall the account um this is the 11th day login so the overall the hardest part of this entire challenge though is the greater accessory charms it, or just accessory charms in general i've been rebuying the lab token every single day to try to make sure i can get as many charms as possible from getting ancient coins but even with doing that, that is going to be the thing that if I can't hit masters, that is why, because I don't have accessory charms. So what I'm going to have to do is the rest of the crafting that I do for farming wyvern is going to have to go to accessories. I'm going to have to craft necklaces and rings and then feed those in. That's the only chance I have at getting anywhere close. So I am going to do one summon, one last summon for Rowana, because why not? I mean, I don't really want Rowana on this account. I'd rather have the next week. I think I'd rather have a dead signer a little bit. She would be the best for a new account. But let's just rip it for fun. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's G perk. It's G perk. It's G perk. We're fine. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have G perk. That's funny. Okay, well, we got spooked there for a second. I, I got a little, little worried. Um... Okay, well, we got G-Perg, cool. So, going over the account progress. So, on a new account, this is... Well, let me do my daily summon, too. Why not? Just for fun of the video. That was, that's not scripted at all. That's just funny. Okay, so, going in... Let me show my characters to start off with. So, my Sermia was on gear. I just moved her gear to Aiden. So, in terms of cleaning the story, I am to chapter 3 or 4, whatever the newest chapter is, but I'm on, like, part 2 of it. I barely started that one. I have not finished Archdemon yet, but I did beat Bellion on whatever stage that is, the third chapter. So one thing is the Selective Summon is now infinite for both Selective Summon 1 and 2. So you can guaranteed get Shu from your second Selective Summon, which is amazing. So you can get whatever you want from it, but Shu for me was definitely the best overall. So as you can see, I just put Shu on um, whatever gear. They're mostly arena gear, and it's not great. But she will, She. I mean, it's a usable Shu. She will work for now. I mean... It is what it is. Uh, got my Wyvern Terran Guard. I did get Arya, but Arya is very specific in gearing. Your, the gear that she takes pretty much works on her and no one else. So she's going to be really hard for me to get up. One bad thing is also my limited artifacts is troubling. It's very annoying. So Momo, one thing with this is Momo was my Wyvern front tank. But the problem with having a healer as your front tank for Wyvern is if your backline dies, something goes wrong, you miss a debuff, and one of your backline units dies, your healer takes forever to die, making your Wyvern failed runs just last forever. So what I actually did was I six-starred uh, Crows it so that my Wyvern runs were faster. So if I did fail, it would fail out quicker and then go into the next one just so I don't waste as much time. So I do have a Christy built. Christy, I need Effect Rose Ring on her, but Christy is going to be kind of a key unit because I do have Senya and Arya and BBK. So she will be kind of a core unit for my thing. But for Christy, obviously Araz is gonna be the best for most accounts. He is gonna help you clear stories, gonna help you clear all PV content. He's, he's way better than Christy, but I, I did Christy because I thought it could be fun and give me an extra option going into RTA. So Senya, as you see, right side is just in shambles. It is impossible to upgrade right side gear. In terms of her stat line, it's not, I mean, it's, pretty much usable but have to upgrade that i did get dustina so this as you see all my left side gear is pretty much done her boots are coming um <laughs> eventually but i did get this this has a chance to go pretty hard it's it was all max rolls except for effectiveness was six and then it rolled effectiveness so we got to hope to dodge that the rest of the time i did get arrow wells she is work in progress to finish specially changed but i have not farmed anything yet and i'm almost out of resources that's one thing I'm getting a little scared of is I'm running out of resources. I used some of these sky stones to make sure I pulled Senya, but going back, if I could do it again, I would not summon at all, no matter what. I would not use any sky stones for summoning. I would only use the free bookmarks the game gives you. I would not use any. You get so many free bookmarks at the beginning, you can pity a character um, pretty easily. So 
I would not use any Sky Stones whatsoever for summoning on a new account if you're trying to push into uh, competitive fast or in terms of like RTA fast because you need this for farming Wyvern 13 bad because you, you need the gear. I have, I would say I have 95% farmed adventure because I'll explain that, but I have 95% farmed adventure, like 5% farmed hunts. I've used barely anything on hunts. I actually just started farming hunts like yesterday. So I did pull Salataria. She was my first Moonlight 5 star besides Spectre Tenebria. She was on my 10th uh, gold transmission trade and summon. So I got pretty lucky on her. She is going to be very usable. Um, this is her stat line for now. I mean, working with what I got. BBK, again, right side, <laughs> right side pieces, no charms. She's in shambles. But I do use her in a lot of stuff. Spectre Tenebria is just on basic. Gear 191 speed. She's actually a decent spec today. I mean, with the free gear, her bulk is terrible, but 4k attack 191 speed, that's not too bad. Cigarette, Wyvern Cigarette. Uh, low effectiveness, but my other characters are on um, higher effectiveness. It's still my Wyvern runs aren't perfect. So Croza is, like I said, I use him to speed up my Wyvern runs. And my win rate, it's like it's like 75%, 80%. It's pretty high. This doesn't upgrade either, but he doesn't really need the bulk. It's either, if he, if he had more bulk, it wouldn't help anything. It would just make the runs take even longer. So I'm not even worried about upgrading this. I did get two Rowanas, actually. Um, but again, gear upgraded, right side gear not upgraded, but it's a start. So the biggest focus is pushing to get all the free gear you can right away, which I'll go on that. Free Spirit Cherry, I already don't use her. Um, she's good for farming, but the thing is you want to farm friendship early on on all your characters So once she's friendship 10 just move the gear off and just start farming somebody else and here are all my five stars I, I did get Cecilia. I got Ilanav. Um, I will probably end up trying to use her. She's an extra option I did get carrot, but the bad thing is carrot and Senya take essentially close to the same gear So she's on the back line for right now. I'm working on her specialty change. We're like halfway done with the 150 spirit altar Tamarin, always, I would always say Tamarin should be the first banner you pull on. You need to not do any summons, beat 1010, unlock Tamarin's side story, do Tamarin's side story, start summoning for her, and then uh, she should always be the first character you go for. I did get a ton of Mui's. Mui is fantastic for Wyvern, makes it way easier. If I didn't have Mui, I would just use Alexa, but my runs would be way worse. So Mui is just, I mean, you're going to you're gonna get him. If you do enough summons, you're going to get Mui. So if you're working on a Wyvern 13 team, you get your 10 summons a day for seven days, plus you're going to be summoning on Tamarin's banner, plus you're going to be summoning on limited banners if there's one going right now. So I would just build your other characters up first and then keep summoning it once you get movie. That's when you start like really farming Wyvern. So I did just unlock Aiden. This is my Sermia gear. So I moved it over to her. Um, I did get Ocean Breeze Luluka. I farmed a little bit of the side story, but on a new account, I don't think the side story is worth it. The thing is, like, yes, you get really good gear, but on a new account... If I'm for the challenge aspect, at least I need okay gear so I can gear my characters to start playing RTA, which if I'm only farming, getting only epic grade gear and only occasionally it's useful, like it's not going to be a, a uh, flat HP counter neck or a t flat attack counter boot. Like I need gear, even if it's purple, that is usable i need i need at least the options so it's not really worth on new account to farm that for me it is if you're like in for the long run you can get that good gear and then put it on your characters and then later you'll get the other gear to round out the sets but for me if i put all my stamina into that i'm gonna have nothing geared i'm gonna have no built characters so i need i have to just farm wyvern it's the only chance i have at getting masters rt in 30 days so i did do commander larina especially change haven't done any of her um tree yet but i have her because i think i'm gonna need her for some of abyss but i'm not sure plus she has really good morale for raid and then one big thing is you need a high morale raid team early game so you can get ancient coins i learned that a little bit too late into this and i regret that i wish i would have had her right away because just the morale teams you can make with her are just insanely high i have a 35 morale team now that i got shoe which is okay but i would like to get into the 40s uh, Asaria, this is what I suggest to start with Selective Summon. Obviously, Selective Summon doesn't really matter. Just don't pick Cigarette. Um, you're going to get a Cigarette for free. So if you pick Tywin, that's fine for your front tank for Wyvern. If you pick Saria, that's great. I don't even use her. Like, she's good for Abyss. I know she'll, I'll use her later. But until later in the game, she's not really, you don't really need her. You just need to tank in Spectre Chamber. You'll clear all content. A tank, Momo, Spectre Sanibria, it's free. Or Tamarin, tank, Tamarin, Spectre Sanibria. Actually, what I did was for my, the best team for clearing story is going to be Adventure Raz, Mott Mertensi, 
Tamarin, Spectre Champion. That team, you're never gonna, you pretty much are never gonna die. You're gonna have infinite heals. Your Raz is gonna tank everything, give you defense buff. Like, that's the team for clearing everything. I use Christy, Momo, Tamarin with Asaria, or with uh, uh, Spectre Sneaker. And that, I mean, I clear everything. You don't three star everything. You can go back and do that later, though. So it's fine. You have to farm multiple, like, AP for everything anyway. So it's not bad doing the same stage twice. If you beat the first time to get the rewards and come back later to beat it to three star it, it's, it's not a big deal to do it that way versus I don't have the feeling that I have to three star this stage as I go. There's no r real point. You're going to do the stage multiple times anyway. So other than that, I got a Fire Lytica, Balan Cezanne, which could be okay, but Balan Cezanne is not really worth using whenever you can just um, use Fire Tenebria, like, or not Fire Tenebria, Fire Mercedes, because, like, yeah, you could use them for, like, um, expeditions, but why not just use Fire Mercedes there? Anyway, I got a Sez. He's, like, I might build him. I don't have T-Siren, so he is an option. So just so you guys know, the reason I haven't been doing much is I do have uh, Strep Throat, as you can probably tell, my voice is super crackly and going out. It's going to take forever for it to recover. So that's why, I mean, I, could, I couldn't possibly stream and talk like this for a long time. I'm just doing one quick YouTube video and bailing. But these are my other characters. I don't see myself really building any of them. I did just get G-Perg, which could be usable, actually. Um, but other than that, I don't see maybe I know, so I might work on her SC with the I don't know, maybe if I have the resources, but like I said, we're running pretty, pretty low. So that is my character roster and some thoughts on that. So going into this, the best thing you can do, because at the beginning of the game, you get this buff. So this buff is going to be coming with, um, you get 30% battle XP. You need to take advantage of this. So farming Wyvern, you don't get double uh, hunt or you don't get double runes. You don't get anything, but this is consistent. This 30% battle XP is extra stigma. So you are able to take the most advantage of farming uh what's it called where is it where is it where is it nope nope i clicked the same thing twice farming unrecorded history so on day like th four th four or five you should be fully cleared with um unrecorded history which if it took you longer it's fine but if you're trying to really min max from a brand new account while you have that buff finish unrecorded history and then look at the characters you have that you know are decent or if you need to know what characters you have that are good join discord and just ask in there, be like, what characters should I work on? And basically, you're going to be f making sure you have a Wyvern team, making sure you can clear some of the challenges, which I'll go over. But you'll just pick whatever stage that has the catalyst you need and just farm it. You, you just run it infinitely. So while you're doing that, just always have that auto battling in the background at 2x speed to get the absolute most you can out of this 30% buff. Because you're not only going to get 30% buff. If you join a guild, you get an extra 10, so you get 40 and then Welcome. I definitely suggest early game buying, where is it? The, this EXP booster, the three day, buy at least one of these once you get to where you're farming nonstop and take three full days of just nonstop running unrecorded history as much as you possibly can. You'll get like 600K stigma, just an absurd amount. You saw how many six stars I had done already. Like, I have this many six stars done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 six stars in 10 days, and I could have more. I mean, I have 18 million surplus gold because I did some penguins to sell so I could craft gear later. But 16 six stars in 10 days? <laughs> like, I only... I think it took me to get 16 six stars. I think it took me a month on my main account of super hardcore playing back in the past. It's so easy to make six stars now. But having that 30% buff plus 50% plus 10%, 90%. And then I kind of, it's unfair if like I started an account during a time that you got an artifact that gives extra XP by your team. So technically I was at 105 EXP percent bonus. And that is a ton of extra stigma that you get for every single run. So that is, in terms of all that, the things that you should focus, though, on a new account is going to be all the challenges. You want to do all three of the hunt challenges because you want these sets of gear. So these sets of gear, the attack set and the HP set, which is an adventure, you want every one of these because it's going to gear your PvE teams. And some of it's going to be your early PvP team or stuff because you saw the Spectre t -Bear. I can technically use her in PvP. She's close enough to decent sets. Um, I, I would say it's pretty good. It, it, it's usable at least i was not perfect but it's usable but you want all of all of that gear that you can get and even aiden i mean we could probably make aiden work on the attack set if we finish aiden early and have light aiden probably make her work on the attack set early game 
or early RTA, she'll work fine. So this, this gear will go a long way. So make sure you get all of these. I am at the point where I need to complete Banshee 13. Very hard. That is the hardest one. In my opinion, the order you should go is Wyvern first. Finish that as fast as you can. Even if you just go and beat Wyvern, uh, this one, 13 one time and go back and do Hunt 10 to finish these challenges. Do that so that you can unlock the Golem one and then just go through Golem, beat Golem 13 one time just to get all the rewards and then unlock Banshee. And then, because Banshee's the hardest. I'll be honest, Banshee, of all three of the hunts, like if you manual, obviously you might not be able to do it on auto, but I manual uh, Golem and Soul Burned. Spectre Tenebria to, to kill the Golem 13. Just put the artifact Daydream Joker on Spectre Tenebria and save up many souls, go into it, soul burn, beat it. Took a couple tries, but beat it and was able to get out of the uh, Golem 13 one. But either way, the fo first focus is getting these sets. Because with these sets, you can upgrade all the left side pieces and the boots with the drops that you get. So while you are farming... <coughs> Oh, geez. Okay, I can't do too much more of this video. My everything is acting up. My voice is going out. So while you're farming, you're going to be getting the T44 drops. The way to upgrade all this gear is put, as you're farming on recorded history, after you your inventory gets full, come in here, and you'll just go and enhance the piece and feed all of that into all of the T44. It's not gold efficient, so you're going to have to trade in for penguins to get more gold. But that is how you upgrade all your left side gear and boots early game you will be able to get as you see that's a lot of plus 15 stuff for a 10 day old account that's pretty pretty good also to prove that this is 10 days old those of you that are maybe like oh this account's been logged in more than 10 days there's always one of those uh how do i do it it's in memory chain right one of the total logins 11 so this is the 11th login you saw me log in at the beginning of this but yeah 11 11 total days so I have gotten to uh, all those hunt challenges done. You want to do all the mobile gore challenges. There's another challenge that goes away once you clear it all. I finish that. Just focus on challenges first. Make sure you get all these free rewards that you can. I just have this last one. Expedition. I need two more expeditions. So do all of that that you can. Get it all done. And then in terms of arena. So I did make it to challenger arena in five days. Once you get to challenger arena, it gets it's impossible. All these people, they're all level 70. They all have gear. They probably played the game for a year. Um, most of them. So, or longer who knows but once you're here it is not easy so what i do once i am here i get to challenger and then i will just go fight the same person twice but back out each time and then if every single time after that you go in to fight them you can just go hit leave right away and then you will not lose any points so as you see no i didn't lose anything i'm still 40 38 so during this time if i do end up getting farmed down below challenger five then I will go and hit refresh, and then it'll give me five easy opponents who aren't challenger level players. And you beat all five of them, get back in, and re just repeat that same same thing. So I do always do these, but I haven't I haven't logged in because I'm one I'm sick and oversleeping, but I'm exhausted right now. But that is what I'm doing for that. But challenger arena five days is pretty dang good. <laughs> I'm very very happy with that. So uh in terms of this i've maxed out like all of everything you can with this make sure one of the most important things you can do is make sure that you have this upgraded before you've, you before you spend any stigma have this upgraded max and this upgraded max so this one doesn't really matter but this one you want the most highest chance to get higher level penguins because that is more gold per run that you get so make sure you do that i'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide for this so but this is just a quick overview of everything. I'm going to be doing step-by-step, 10-day -step, guide. I'm going to do like day one through three, what you should do. Day three through six, what you should do. And day seven through 10, what you should do. Because I want to split it up because a certain part of it's going to be farming. One thing, the next part of it's going to be farming hunts. So I want to explain how to most efficiently get your account in the best spot possible in the shortest amount of time if you're a new player. So you feel like you're making progress toward actually getting RTX. Because most people that start this game either give up right away or they see people playing RTA and once they realize how long it takes with no knowledge, they just give up because it's just going to take too long. But going in and doing the right thing, within a month, within a month I'll be able to play RTA. I know I'll be able to play it, just not well. I'm hoping though, I really, really think my cutoff day for this is going to be the 31st, July 31st, the last day I have to try to hit Masters RTA. So hopefully I can beat it. I think we have a decent chance. So in terms of Abyss, also with this, I'm going to hit uh, stage 70 today. Yeah, stage 70 today. So with Abyss, you want to trade in for this every single day. You want to make sure you have one leaf every day to put into this, no matter what. 
because these rewards it, abyss is pretty easy now until you get to later stages so every single day at first you you want to make sure you're doing this if you're trying to rush uh and get as far as you can as fast as possible if you're not trying to rush then don't bother doing that save your leaf because that's an extra couple wyvern runs but for me i need to rush because i need to get all these sky stones and leaves so i think it's tomorrow i get an extra 1500 sky stones see those 1500 sky stones that's a lot of farming for me so i need to get those 1500 sky stones and then the next it's a bunch of moonlight summons which okay cool but then i need to get to this once i get to this i don't think there's any more this one floor 90 is like the last one that i need to rush to after floor 90 i'll just casually go and just try to complete three a day because it's going to start taking a long time too and be annoying in terms of guild war guild war just use your attacks just back out right away if you want to my guild war last week i did pretty good on my guild war though like my accounts my accounts starting to get decent enough to where i can fight uh where's my where's my thing Am I not in the war? Oh no. I'm right here. Look, I got a defense win. Let's go. I got a defense win. <laughs> Is this guy level 70? Hold on. He's level 70. <laughs> oh, let's go. That's so funny. Dude, he tried to debuff me. I actually had enough factors. How much did I have? 80 plus, I guess, 50%. We'll take it. <laughs> Which shoot, <laughs> how did I win? I don't know. That right there is funny though. So as you can see, within 10 days, you can already be kind of doing decent on defense. And I like, I, I, I did decent on my attacks too. I mean, it's a pretty easy guild, but I don't know. If you're in a lower guild, you'll, it'll be even better for you too. I, this ended up being a really long video, but I don't know. I've been, I will say, closing thoughts. I don't think there's anything left for me to show. I can show my progress on adventure, but closing thoughts on this. Epic 7 is in the best spot possible ever to make a new account i make new accounts all the time because i like making guides and just seeing where the state of the game is because as a content creator people new players always come to you with questions and if the answers are changing i don't want to give the same bad information because things have updated but i will say playing through this this time it's a completely new game like you can get so much done so fast so 2x farming speed like it's it, it is very very fun now it's just you are it feels like you are constantly making progress but i will say if you don't know what you're doing it's not going to be as fun but for someone who knows what they're doing and isn't wasting or feel they're like questioning everything i'm just clicking just going it is so much fun but all right that's going to wrap up the video thank you guys for watching like i said sorry i haven't been around i'm sure you can hear my voice i am dead but <clears throat> that's all i got um if you have any questions or things that you think I should put in the series, I'm, I've already got the footage recorded. I just need to crop it together. I'm going to do like some voiceover. So if you have anything you think I should add to it um, in terms of daily progression or anything, let me know down below. But it's been Mitch or Deity, and I will see you guys in the guides, or I will see you in, I'm going to make a video over like my first RTA matches on the account, which will probably be on Monday, because that's whenever I can... Uh, Monday, we're going to get this reset. So this is a bunch of things I can get. And then we get to train in again for Alchemist Steeple. So I'll have a lot more accessory charms then. And hopefully I can boost up enough characters to start trying RTA. A right side gear to start trying RTA. I should have a roster of like seven characters by then. But all right, have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all later. Peace out.